Hello, this is Galen Martling. Today, I'm here participating in Camp Create by MFT, and it's day three. And so I am going to use Emboss Resist, which is part of the challenge. And I have stamp set by a stamp set by MFT called Wonderful Woods. And also I'm using Elegant Rectangle Stacks Dynamics for this card. And so I go ahead and I stamp onto watercolor paper using the trees in a diagonal, a diagonal line. And then the sentiment is at the top on the top panel there. I'm going to heat emboss and stamp using using watermark ink. I'm heat embossing this sentiment in black. And then I'm going to heat emboss the trees. I'm using the same watermark ink and I'm going to use white embossing for the trees. So the trees won't show up there as I'm stamping. It's just going to show up after I go ahead and finish the heat setting and coloring. So there you can kind of see the white there. It's going to show up better once you add watercolor. So I'm using Secura Koi watercolor and I'm using wet on wet for this technique as well. I'm going to add water to the top portion and the blue area and then I'm going to add blue watercolor with a with a narrow brush and sort of a diagonal diagonal um, diagonal way there. I get a little darker down where the tree line starts. I wanted to use the small brush to sort of mimic clouds in the sky as well so I let some of that white show through. Now on the bottom, it's going to be a grassy look. I add water first, then I just dab the green down in there. I start with light and then I add some more darker, a darker shade there. I have a couple of palettes of green there. And then um, go ahead and dab that in and then I move it around with the brush. Then I just pick up that panel to move it even more and let it blend together. And then I go in and add more of the darker shade right around the bottom of those trees. So I'm just trying to create a hillside or a slope area of trees for this. I really like the softness of this technique. You can use any color of embossing powder. I chose white for this, but black it would really pop nicely as well, or a dark green. And so you go ahead and go ahead and heat set everything with a heat tool and then I made black, a black um, splatter area on the top left and the bottom right. Heat set everything and die cut it out using that frame die. And then I just place it with foam tape right onto the card base along with the sentiment to finish. I hope you give it a try. Thanks so much for watching. Please take a moment to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like and share if you will. Thanks so much and have a great day.